For this question, we want to use the properties of logarithms and the logarithm property of equality to solve the logarithmic equation. Once again, I want to show you the methods for solving logarithmic equations. We have converting to an exponential and using the one-to-one -one property or the property of equality. This first one requires that you have the logarithm isolated on one side of the equation. And if we look at our equation, we have a logarithm on the left and multiple logarithms on the right. So we do not have our logarithm isolated on one side of the equation. The other method requires that the logarithm the logarithmic equation have a log with the same base on both sides of the equation. So we have log with no base specified, so that means it's base 10. And then we have another log with no base specified, so that's base 10. And another log, no base specified, so that's base 10. So it's looking like we want to use the second method, which is the property of equality or the one-to-one -one property for logarithms. However, we do need to have a single log on the left. It needs to be isolated. If we look at our example here, that two means that this logarithm is not isolated. And then we also need a single logarithm on the right. And for this example, you can see that we have two logarithms on the right. However, we will still be able to solve this problem with the one-to-one -one property for logarithms, or as this question states, the property of equality, because we have properties of logarithms that allow us to condense to a single logarithm. Those properties are the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule. So I'm going to be able to condense this into a single isolated logarithm using the power rule. So I can use the power rule to rewrite the left-hand side as log of x plus 6 squared. So the power rule allows you to take your power, excuse me, that's a coefficient. It takes the coefficient of the log and moves it into the power. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to be able to use the product rule for logarithms. And the product rule allows you to condense these individual logs into a single log as long as they have the same base, which these have a base of 10. So we'll condense this to 27 times 3. And we condense this with the product rule and multiplication because of this addition symbol here. If it were a subtraction, we would be condensing it with a quotient rule instead and dividing those numbers instead of multiplying them. So this gives me log of x plus 6 squared equals log of 81. 27 times 3 is 81. And now I have a single log with base 10 on the left and a single log with base 10 on the right. And since I have the bases the same, I can use that property of equality and write this as x plus 6 squared equals 81. What's inside the log on the left has to equal what's inside the log on the right. And then I can solve the equation that's left, which is x plus 6 squared equals 81. And I'm going to solve this using the square root method. I'll square root the left-hand side. And I'll square root the right-hand side. 
the square root and the square cancel each other out on the left and on the right we get plus or minus 9 square root of 81 is 9 and I'll subtract 6 on both sides giving me x equals negative 6 plus and minus 9 let's simplify each one of those x equals negative 6 plus 9 would be 3 and x equals negative 6 minus 9 would be negative 15. We need to check each one of these solutions in the original equation. So in the original equation, we'll check x equals 3. In the original, that would give me 2 log of 3 plus 6 equals log of 27 plus log of 3. 3 plus 6 is a positive, so I'll be able to keep x equals 3 as a solution. And let me check the other solution of x equals negative 15. In the original, that would be 2 log of negative 15 plus 6 equals log of 27 plus log of 3. Negative 15 plus 6 is a negative and the log of a negative is undefined so I'll have to throw that solution of x equals negative 15 away and the only solution to this equation is x equals 3. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.